Hey guys, welcome back. Brad and I, Millimeter USA here. And today we're going to bring you something very special for a review on our channel. This is going to be our review of the HM Defense HM15 Commander MB5 in Midnight Tungsten. This is a groundbreaking AR that uses technology that no other manufacturer uses. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you saw our first look video where we showed off the HM Defense monoblock barrel, which is seen here. That video is set the stage for this review video. As this HM Defense AR-15 has this extremely innovative game-changing barrel. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got the HM Commander MB5. We're going to do a hard use test here on it. Let's see how it performs. It's very nice looking, obviously. Mag down. Go ahead and kneel on this one. About light recoil. Do you think that's because of the uh, monoblock? I mean, it looks like it's even lighter than a normal mid-length gas system. It's really light recoiling. How's that muzzle device? Works great. Yeah. You won't believe how easy it is to shoot. This is a pretty awesome uh, dust cover, you guys. Look at that. It's definitely it's not your normal AR-15. It feels special. It looks special. And it's beautiful. I mean, I know that's in the eye of the beholder, but uh, it's really beautiful to look at. Let's shoot it some more. The barrel on this rifle is made in-house by HM Defense. This rifle has a 14 and a half inch barrel with an integrated muzzle device. That makes it 16 inches overall. So the muzzle device and gas blocker are part of the barrel design. They are integral parts which make it the monoblock barrel. The barrel is made out of 4150 chromoly vanadium steel, which makes the gas block and integral muzzle device on this version of the rifle 4150 chromoly vanadium steel. Fantastic stuff. This is the version that is threaded. It has your threads right here, which make it able to accept a muzzle device or a direct thread suppressor or whatever. Fab Defense Magazine. We're going to make sure that this rifle runs on all these different brands of magazines. Pretty tight in the mag well, that magazine. Here we go. Things just wants to run. A Min 2 magazine. The barrel has a medium profile with a 556 NATO chambering and a 1 in 8 twist rate. All HM barrels are match grade, triple honed, and button rifled for superior accuracy. This HM15 has a mid-length gas system, so it does have a lighter and smoother recoil impulse over, say, a carbon length gas system AR-15. And to be totally honest, this rifle has the smoothest and lightest recoil impulse we've ever experienced on an AR-15, wouldn't you say? Yes, when I shot this rifle, um, you can barely feel anything. Any recoil, uh, any muzzle rise, 
I mean, it just completely stays on target and it is just really simple and easy to shoot, guys. So it's safe to say we were pretty impressed. It's a hex mag, guys. Gen 2. USGI. This rail was the HM Defense free flow 12 inch handguard made out of 6061 T6 billet aluminum. It is compatible with use of M-Lock attachments. It's very durable, and the handguard has the perfect overall thickness of aluminum. As far as the walls of the handguard. It feels great in the hand, guys, and it is kind of thick. I mean, it is strong. It's very durable. And in our opinion, it's a lot higher quality than many other handguards on the market. This handguard is made in-house at HM Defense. The rail is machined to perfection, guys. It feels wonderful in the hand. It almost is the perfect circumference when you're shooting a rifle. As we said before, there is no felt recoil with this thing. It's just amazing how well this rifle shoots. So the handguard has no sharp or rough edges at all. And it has M-Lock accessory attachment points at 3, 6, and 9 on the rifle. It's a very, very beautiful handguard. I think it's the best one I've ever seen. And I own a lot of ARs. Yeah. So because of this excellent handguard and the monoblock barrel, your barrel is truly free floated and you will get outstanding accuracy with this rifle. Even if the rifle has been shot many times to where the barrel is getting hot or extremely hot, your barrel harmonics are never disturbed because of the design of the monoblock barrel. Traditional gas blocks put a stress point on your barrel, not making them truly 100% free floated. With the monoblock barrel design, you don't have any vibrations or movement from a traditional gas block that is attached to your traditional AR-15 barrel. Yeah, you've got no gas block clamped onto the barrel itself. So there's yeah. nothing riding along for the ride. Your barrel harmonics are not disturbed at all. We think the monoblock barrel is the future in AR-15 barrel technology. As we said, it makes this rifle a true free-floated barrel that is stronger and more durable because your gas block can't fail. Yeah, it's a hell of a shooter. Yep. So, all right, let's shoot it some more. The bolt carrier group on this rifle is very good. The carrier is made out of 8620 steel and it has a nitride finish. Full auto M16 profile and the staking of the gas key is good. HM's bolts are shot peened, magnetic particle inspected, and high pressure tested. The bolts are made out of 9310 steel and the extractors on the bolts have the spring and o-ring that make extraction more reliable in adverse conditions. The HM Defense HM15s do have 7075 T6 aluminum uppers and the uppers do feature your shell deflector, forward assist, and dust cover. 
which on this monoblock one, it's very cool. It has your American flag and monoblock on both sides. Very high quality stuff. So now let's move on to the MV5's lower receiver. The lower is made out of 7075 T6 billet aluminum. And the magwell has some slight cutouts and some definite, very nice flaring for easier magazine insertion slash removal. It works really good and it looks great. Yeah. The trigger guard on this lower is very enhanced for easy use with gloved hands. And the bolt release on this lower is threaded in place right here for easier removal should that be necessary. Because of the billet lower, guys, this rifle does not accept all magazines such as the Gen 3 P Mag and Tapco magazines. Also the Min 2 magazines. Anything with a shelf on it, um, it did not like because you could not get the magazine all the way in. The magazines we tested that functioned 100% in this rifle are as follows. The USGI magazines, the Lancer AWM magazines, the Elander, the Fab Defense, the Hex Mag Gen 2s, Daniel Defense magazines, and even the Troy Battle Mag magazines. HM Defense does make this rifle with a standard lower called the Defender M5 which would take all AR-15 magazines. So it just depends on what lower you decide to go with. And that's important to mention. This is a very nice brochure that they have right here on multiple other models. This particular rifle is their limited edition, which yeah. would be considered their top of the line, right, Young Beretta? Yeah, which is right there. Which my guess also is it's their most expensive on their line. I think so. So their other rifles will be less expensive if you're on a budget. Other than their AR-10s. The MB5 does have a six position mil spec buffer tube made out of 7075 aluminum. As seen right there. And it does have a HM Defense quick detach end plate right here for use with your QD swivel. The stock installed here is the HM Defense stock. Yeah. I was very impressed by that. I didn't know that they make their own stock. Well, I think they make all their parts. That's the other thing that's really, really cool about this company. It's an American company that employs Americans, and every part is American-made. Yeah. 
So there are no cutting corners here, guys. This is a top-of-the-line type AR-15 rifle that has innovation that just can't be touched by any other AR-15 maker. Yeah, and I mean, this stock is a 10. I, mean, I really do like it. It's very smooth, very nice. Uh, felt really good using it and, and shooting with it. So, yeah, it's great. And the pistol grip that's installed on this is the Magpul MOA. That's a baseline, you know, for Magpul as far as their grips. It's a good quality grip. I like it. I like it a lot. It feels great in the hand. It fills your hand, but it's comfortable to use. Absolutely love it. So I think it's safe to say we wouldn't change anything on this lower right. It's which, very well done. Which is abnormal for us because usually we change at least a part or two or three. We did choose to remove the regular charging handle and put our own charging handle on here just because we like to be able to pull the charging handle from either side. Or yeah, as a lefty, it's super annoying for the uh, GI stuff. So, But other than that, every part on it is the exact part that it comes with. So guys, stock this rifle weighs a light 6.5 pounds. The rifle is very handy and it uses next gen AR-15 technology. It ran 100% and we fired 700 rounds through this rifle for this review. So guys, during that testing, we used 640 rounds of Freedom Munition Brass 5.56. And it ran 60 rounds of Tula steel cased ammo flawlessly. Yeah. No problems at all. And that was like after 400 rounds of firing through this rifle. So yeah, it ran all the ammo through it, no problems at all. I put a little lube on it before, uh, the night before we took it out to the range. And but, after that, you didn't put anything on it. Right. Yeah. So, great job. Normally, guys, our hard use tests, as you guys know, that have been subscribers for a while, range from 450 to 500 rounds. That's our normal test. We wanted to shoot this a lot more because we wanted to make sure it works, it'll hold up in a hard use test, which will be much more than most shooters would ever put through their rifles. So 700 rounds in about a little over two hours time. So the reason why we wanted to fire 700 rounds through it was because obviously HM Defense's rifles have been out there for a while. The only other hard test I've seen done on the uh, monoblock barrel or the HM Defense rifle at all was they put a full auto lower on a rifle and shot it for over a thousand rounds. So yeah, I'm impressed by that. But I don't have a full auto lower, which 99% of you that are watching this video don't either. So how does it hold up if you just put mag after mag after mag and end up with 700 rounds fired through the rifle in about two hours time? One of the first rifles they gave out and they gave that to uh, their local law enforcement agency yeah. over in Ohio and their city, which is fantastic. You know, they're supporting the local law enforcement. Um, HM Defense does a lot with their local law enforcement out there. They have uh, they have several law enforcement agencies that are using their rifles now, mostly in the Midwest and on the East Coast. It doesn't have much of a footprint here on, on the West Coast, but that may change. I hope it does. It's gonna be steel. So in our opinion, after testing this rifle, we think the HM Defense Commander MB5 AR-15 is one of the best AR-15 rifles available today on the market. As far as overall quality and the innovation that goes into this rifle, there is nothing out there that's like it. It doesn't matter what rifle company you're talking about, they don't have the things that are found in this rifle right here. It's gonna be steel again.
Lancer L5 AWM magazine. Elander 40 round magazine. We're gonna get this thing cooking. Failure to extract. Actually, that was a failure to feed. Hold on. Failure of a crimp. This 40 round Elander magazine has had some problems in a couple rifles. Ran good overall so far. Obviously, one malfunction is what it is. These extended magazines aren't exactly. Guaranteed to be 100% reliable in my eyes, nor Berta Seniors, but we just like to test it anyways. Again. Oh, look. It's totally the magazine. Look at this. It's like barely got any spring tension under it. the four rounds that were left in the uh, Elander 40 rounder. We're going to remove that magazine, you guys, from the testing equation. It gave this rifle some problems and it also gave, actually I believe, my Aero Precision uh, AC-15M Ambretta Senior Psyonix rifle some problems. So we're going to remove that magazine from the testing system and uh, go from here. Just so that we don't have any more problems. Because this rifle hasn't had any other problems other than that. Yeah, it's definitely magazine related on that one. I told you that magazine was no good. And then I've got a Lancer L5 translucent smoke 20 round magazine. And that was as fast as I could pull the trigger. This wow. thing has a really good trigger, you guys. Let me show it to you real fast. Has a little bit of a take up in it and a really good break. Defense mag, Elander 30 round magazine. This thing is burning my arm now. It's so hot. Thank God I put on these gloves and I'm empty. <laughs> USGI, this rifle is smoking. There we go. Nice. The price of this Midnight Tungsten MB5 is $15.95. It's a hell of a rifle for $1,595. Or you can pick up just the regular black anodized version for $14.95. Those prices are as of August 2017. I have a feeling that people will see a real value in this and there could be a price change in the future. If you're interested in this rifle, I would order it now before any price changes happen. HM Defense products are 100% made in Ohio. So they're made right here in America and they come with a five-year warranty.
right, guys, last magazine with the Commander MB5 from HM Defense. If it runs through this magazine, it's 700 rounds. It's probably the most we've ever fired through an AR. So it'll be 700 rounds in about two hours. Yeah. And the reason why we wanted to fire 700 rounds through it is because obviously this is, you know, a patent pinning design as far as the gas block and the muzzle device being integrated into the barrel because that's one piece of steel. It's fantastic, right? Right. It's very well made. There's no question about that. And it's a beautiful rifle. I think it's a very good looking rifle. But let's see how it finishes this last magazine and then 700 rounds later and the thing's still running like a clock. Yeah. I think that's... They only uh, had the one problem with the uh, Elander 40 rounder and that was because the magazine is junk. Yeah. We're actually going to pitch that magazine now. It's... Yeah. It's not reliable. All right, here we go. Unbelievable. I'm really impressed. It's a very, very good rifle. Not only is it great to look at, but the damn thing just runs. Runs and runs. All right, guys, back to the tabletop. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you're interested in this rifle or anything else available at HM Defense, go ahead and check out their products and website via the links in the description box below this video. As always, everyone, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.